Joining me now from House Foreign Affairs, Congresswoman Claudia Tenney. Good to see you, Congresswoman. Tell me what you make of these recent escalations. It looks bad to me, and I, I hate the response, but tell me what you think. Well, first of all, the Biden administration uh, allowed this to happen in so many ways. First of all, the very one of the very first acts of, of President Biden was to de-designate, to not designate the Houthis as a foreign terrorist organization, which they had been under the Trump administration. Not sure why they did that. This only empowers Iran. There are no Houthis without uh, the Iranians giving them money and giving the weapons to torment the Saudis, to torment the, the sea. Uh, the Arabian Sea in that region where we have a lot of oil and a lot of natural gas or LNG going through uh, based on these countries over there. So it's a power struggle right now. And the Biden administration has been very weak in handling that. And they continue to perpetuate uh, this type of attacks on Americans. And it's just unforgivable. And not sure why the Biden administration is not acting more aggressively than they have. They have finally reacted, but not in a way that I think is going to deter the Houthis as long as we continue to right. allow the Iranians to have sanctions relief to the tune of almost $80 billion in oil yeah. sanctions relief, which gives them cash to continue to fund proxies in the Middle East, including Hamas, uh, Hezbollah, Islamic Jihad, and the Houthis. That's what I mean. I, I just don't see any deterrence there. Now, Senator Lindsey Graham says U.S. needs to aim at bigger targets. Watch this. I've been saying for six months now, hit Iran. They have oil fields out in the open. They have the um, Revolutionary Guard headquarters you can see from space. Blow it off the map. If you really want to protect American soldiers, make it real to the Ayatollah. I mean, he's talking big escalation here. Is that where you stand on this? Well, first of all, we had a great policy that was closing in on the Iranians under President Trump and Secretary Pompeo. We had the maximum pressure campaign where we closed in. We had hard sanctions on them. We killed El, uh, El Baghdadi uh, Soleimani, the head of the IRGC. We uh, cut out the Iran nuclear deal. We cracked down on them. When we missed an opportunity this year where I was urging the administration with letters and everything that I could to try to get them to enforce our chance to have snapback sanctions on Iran through the UN that could have happened this October that the Biden administration allowed to expire. There's a lot of ways that we can pressure Iran and put them in a corner to prevent them from having the cash that they're getting. Uh, not to mention, these people are thugs. They're in the yeah. hostage taking business, they're in the terrorism business. Uh, they take hostages. Their own foreign uh, economic minister said, we'll take a thousand hostages if it means we're going to continue to fund our economy through American money. So the more hostages they take, the more money we give them, the more we relent, the more they continue to do that. You know, you give more money, you get more hostages. And that's yeah. unfortunately the policy of the administration. It's very weak. Well, and they're using the money to enrich uranium at weapons grade levels, like way beyond anything in the Iran nuclear deal. That sounds, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. It sounds really, really dangerous, Congresswoman. What, what's your reaction to that? Well, you know, I joined up, this was bipartisan. I joined up with Congressman Josh Gottheimer on exactly this enrichment. We wrote a letter saying, do not allow the enrichment to get to the level it has, the 90%, but the Biden administration continues to have it, make it happen that way. Uh, Secretary of State Blinken, John Kerry, all these people are just appeasing Iran instead of cracking down on them and holding them accountable. The whole reason we have a war in Israel, this tragic situation where Hamas is brutally murdering people, and by the way, hurting Palestinian citizens yes. within the Gaza Strip. All of this is happening because of the weakness being projected and the, and the lack of action on the Biden administration. There's so much we could have done, and we still need to do that. We need to give 100% support to Israel, which we're not really doing. We're giving the support, but we're not getting support from our European allies as well. Look what just happened in the UN. There was a ceasefire resolution. Only 10 countries in the world actually voted with the United States while the UN continues on our soil with our taxpayer dollars. It's time to end this. What a, what a joke the UN is on that. That's why American leadership matters and our leaders going to St. Croix this week. Claudia Tenney, Congresswoman, we got to leave it there. Good to see you. Thanks so much and happy new year. You too.